Did you know that organisms constantly adapt to survive in changing environments? Hey everyone, this is Mr. Lara, and in this video we will talk about how short and long-term environmental changes affect organisms and populations. Short-term environmental changes happen quickly and have an immediate effect on organisms in the ecosystem. Examples of short-term changes include natural disasters, such as hurricanes or earthquakes, and sudden changes in weather, such as cold snap or heat wave. Long-term environmental changes happen over a longer period of time and can have more profound effects on the organisms in an ecosystem. Examples of long-term changes include changes in the climate, such as an increase in global temperatures and the introduction of new species into an ecosystem. These changes can alter the conditions that an ecosystem can support and can cause changes in the distribution and abundance of different populations of species over time. Organisms depend on biotic and abiotic factors in an ecosystem to survive. So when floods and climate change disrupt the ecosystem, the biotic and abiotic factors also get affected, making survival difficult for organisms. One important difference between short-term and long-term environmental changes is their effect on the survival and reproduction of individual organisms. Short-term environmental changes like floods don't give populations enough time to adapt, forcing them to relocate or become extinct. On the other hand, long-term environmental changes are generally caused by human activities such as deforestation, exhausting natural resources, agriculture, urbanization, pollution from waste disposal, energy production, and climate change. Long-term environmental changes affect the biotic and abiotic factors in the ecosystem permanently, but happen slowly. This gives populations enough time to either adapt or relocate to a new habitat, otherwise they might become extinct. For example, a warming climate may cause some species to move to new habitats and change the population density of different species in the area. Long-term environmental changes may also cause genetic variations in a population that helps them adapt, survive, and gain an advantage in the ecosystem. This process is called natural selection. In natural selection, organisms with traits that are better suited for the environment are more likely to survive and reproduce, passing on their traits to the next generation. If the subsequent populations do not develop such adaptations to the changing environment, then the population can become extinct. That's real we just learned. Short-term environmental changes have an immediate effect on the ecosystem and can cause populations to become extinct. Long-term environmental changes happen over a longer period of time and give populations a chance to adapt or relocate to survive. Natural disasters or short-term environmental changes, human activities like urbanization, pollution, and climate change cause long-term environmental changes. Long-term environmental changes may cause genetic variations, driving natural selection to allow populations to survive in the changing ecosystem. If populations do not adapt to relocate, they can become extinct.